Hi students, welcome back to part two of our lesson. In this lesson, we will be talking about the odds of an event. The odds of an event are given by the ratio of the number of times the event occurs to the number of times the event does not occur. Or we can say the odds in favor of an event is equal to the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes to the number of unfavorable outcomes. We do not want to confuse this with probability. Remember, the probability of an event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. Let's take a look at some examples. And let's go back to the roulette wheel that we discussed earlier. For an American roulette wheel, there are 38 slots pictured here. The wheel spins around. There's a ball bouncing around. As the wheel slows, the ball lands in one slot. And again, there are 38 slots. Two slots are 0 and double 0, which are green. The remaining 36 slots are numbered 1 through 36, half are black and half are red. I listed all the numbers shown here below. So for part A, we're asked what are the odds for the ball landing in an even numbered slot. Even numbers are multiples of 2, and 0 and double 0 are considered even. So let's go ahead and highlight the even numbers. We have 0, double 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. So 0 and double 0, that's two favorable outcomes. And then half the numbers from 1 through 36 gives us 18 more even numbers. There's a total of 20 even numbers on the roulette wheel. So there are 20 favorable outcomes. And there are 18 odd numbers. And therefore, there are 18 unfavorable outcomes. So the odds for a ball landing in an even numbered slot are 20 to 18. 20 favorable outcomes and 18 unfavorable outcomes gives us the ratio of 20 to 18, which can be written in fraction form, which is usually the best way to start because ratios do simplify like fractions. 20 and 18 share a common factor of two, giving us a simplified ratio of 10 to nine. So this is the ratio of 10 to nine, which can also be written using a colon, as well as the number two, 10 to nine. For part B, what are the odds for the ball landing in an odd numbered slot? Well, looking back at the number list, there are 18 odd numbers, and therefore there are 18 favorable outcomes, and there are 20 even numbers, meaning there are 20 unfavorable outcomes, and therefore the odds of landing on an odd numbered slot are 18 to 20, which simplifies to 9 to 10, which again can be written in multiple ways. For part C, what are the odds that the ball lands in a black slot? So looking at the roulette wheel again, half of the numbers from 1 through 36 are black and half are red, which means there are 18 black slots, and therefore there are 18 favorable outcomes, and there are 20 slots that are not black, there are 20 unfavorable outcomes. So the odds of landing on black are 18 to 20, which we already know simplifies to 9 to 10. And then for part D, what are the odds against the ball landing in a black slot, which would be the same as the odds of the ball landing in a green or red slot? Well, there are 20 slots that are not black and 18 slots that are black, and therefore, the odds against landing on a black would be 20 to 18. This is because there are 20 slots that are not black and 18 that are black. And again, this simplifies to 10 to 9, which we saw earlier. And now let's take a look at number 11. The probability that event A will occur is equal to 0.76 or 76%. Part A was a probability of A complement or not A. The probability that A does not occur is equal to 100% minus 76% or in decimal form 1 minus 0.76 which is equal to 0.24 or 24%. Before we talk about B and C, if the probability of A occurring is 76%, we know there are 76 favorable outcomes 
out of a total of 100 outcomes, which means there must be 100 minus 76 or 24 unfavorable outcomes. And now let's talk about the odds. What are the odds in favor of event A? This is the ratio of the favorable number of outcomes to the unfavorable outcomes, which would be 76 to 24, which again, we can simplify this on the calculator, just like a fraction. 76 divided by 24, enter, math, enter, enter, gives us a simplified ratio of 19 to six, which again can be written three ways. For part C, what are the odds against event A? This would be the ratio of the unfavorable outcomes to the favorable outcomes, which gives us a ratio of 24 to 76, which simplifies to six to 19. And for our last example, if the odds for a certain event are four to 11, what is the probability of the event occurring? Remember four to 11, is the ratio of the favorable number of outcomes to the unfavorable number of outcomes. So we have four favorable outcomes to 11 unfavorable outcomes, which means there must be four plus 11 or 15 total outcomes. And therefore the probability of, let's just call it event E, is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes, which gives us 4 fifteenths. I hope you found this helpful.